Let's go to an Instagram question now that we received from Becky. What does it mean to be created in the image of God? And we, we sometimes just throw that phrase around, right, the image of God. But what it means is that God created you together with all of humanity to reflect his goodness and glory. It's both something that you are, Becky, and something that you're called to. So, for example, because you're in the image of God, you're a rational creature with a will and knowledge, goodness, all those kinds of things. You know, Paul said in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24, put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. And then in Colossians 3.10, he said, put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. So this goodness and holiness is a part of the divine image we were made with, but we also have to factor in the fall. We didn't lose the image of God when sin entered the world, but the image of God was tainted, marred. You know, we're supposed to be mirrors of God's image, image bearers who reflect the glory and the goodness of our creator. But when sin came into the world, it was like the mirror got cracked. We couldn't help but distort God's image to the world around us. And that's happening everywhere. I mean, we just see it all over the place today. And so in order to renew his image on earth, God sent his son. And Colossians 1.15 says, he is, that is Jesus is, the image of the invisible God the firstborn of all creation. You know, years ago, I read a, a great little book written by an ancient theologian named Athanasius. Isn't that a, a great name? And I, I think he described this so beautifully. It's in his work on the incarnation. He said this, you know what happens when a portrait that has been painted on a panel becomes obliterated through external stains? The artist doesn't throw away the panel, but the subject of the portrait has to come and sit for it again. Mm. And then the likeness is redrawn on the same material, even so it was with the all-holy Son of God. He is the image of the Father, came and dwelt in our midst in order that he might renew mankind made after himself and seek out his lost sheep. Even as he says in the gospel, I came to seek and save that which was lost. That's beautiful. Yeah, we're made in the image of God, and there's something so wonderful about that. And everyone, whether they're a Christian or not, they're they're in God's image, which means we deserve, they deserve dignity, respect, love, kindness, all of the above. But we've sinned. We've cracked the image, if you will. Now we don't reflect God like we should, and that's why Jesus came to renew the image of God in humanity so that we might reflect our creator as as we've been called to. Yeah.